All right, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create uh, your classes and how to upload or uh, create your first assignment for those classes. So <clears throat> again, this is an Edpuzzle. This is uh, part two of our couple part series on Edpuzzle and the functions of it and what to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Again, this is edpuzzle.com. I'm going to log in as a teacher, log in with Google, select my Google account. I'm in, I'm ready to go. Um, I need to go over to my classes. I need to create a new class. So I'm coming to this feature up here. It says add class. Okay, class name, let's go ahead with test class one. I'm going to select, since I'm a math teacher, I'm going to select it as math. Uh, grade, I'm going to go ahead and select 12th grade. Again, you can change it to however you like. I'm going to go ahead and save class. And that's about it. All you have to do to uh, get your students to enroll is you have to give them this class code. So if I can zoom in here a little bit too far. There we go. So DBNX2Y is the code that I'm going to give to uh, my classes. Um, just to give you sort of an understanding of what it looks like, let me go ahead and I'm going to switch user account real quick. Okay, I'm going to go to edpuzzle.com. Once this loads, what I will have is my new page here, and I'm going to log in as a student this time and show you what it looks like to uh, sign up for the class. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to log in as a student. I'm going to log in with Google. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to accept. Okay, now this is what it looks like as a student. So instead of create class, they say join class. So as a student, they will click this join class button. Um, let me just uh, switch to my other screen here so I can get the code, the dbnx2y. If I enter that into here, I'm going to join class. And now I am enrolled in test class one with me as my teacher. Right. So this is what your students will see once you create those classes. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that. We'll come back to it then. But I want to use my first video. I'm going to do my first video. So I'm going to show you in this video how to uh, create one off of uh, a video that's already out there. And then um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload a video and do the same thing. So I'm going to show you the basic functions of editing. So I'm going to go to Edpuzzle. I'm going to type in uh, Mr. J. Corb should come up with. Here we go. Some of my uh, previous videos from other courses. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use this video. I want this one. I want to talk about standard form uh, slope explained. So I'm going to click. I'm going to uh, highlight it. I'm going to come down here. It says use it. So I'm going to use it. Now the first thing that Edpuzzle allows you to do is trim down your video. So say that you have a really long video, you only want a certain section of the video. Uh, so you can come down here and say that I want just this middle section right here. You can play it multiple times and figure out if that's the uh, area that you want. So if I just want this section in here. Yep. So actually there I was using the free version of Screencast-O-Matic, which is actually what I'm using right now to record this video. So shout out to them. Uh, but anyway, so we have our cropped video now. This is exactly what I want. Uh, let me move this here. Um, I'm going to come next. You can add an audio track. So say that you find a video out on the web. You don't like their voice. You want to insert your own voice. The audio track allows you to record your voice over the entire thing. So that's what your students hear. Uh, not what the person on the video is saying. Um, but you yourself. Typically, I don't do this because I, I most likely choose my own videos, or if I do choose another video out there, I like what they have to say. Next is this uh, insert audio notes feature. I can insert just little snippets of audio into the beginning of the video, in the middle of the video, at the end of the video. So some introductory remarks. Um, you can insert some just comments here and there that the students have to listen to before they can watch the video. And then lastly, this is my favorite feature. Um, these are the questions that you can insert along the video at any time. So say that I want to insert a question here that pops up. It stops the screen. The student can't uh, go on any further. Let's put one right here in the beginning here. So I'm going to insert my question. 
And over here is my questions options. So add your open-ended open questions. You can add just comments. You can add multiple choice. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to add a multiple choice question. So what color is on the screen? Okay, I'm going to say blue, orange, and I'm just going to leave it as two questions. I'm going to select orange as the correct answer, and I'm going to save, and there's my question. So at that point in the video, it would pop up. It would give them a question that they have to review. Uh, they have to select it, and you get the responses as well. So you get those responses later on. I'm going to add one other question. Let's go ahead and add a question here. Um, we'll do an open-ended. What did I say in the video? Good way to keep students on their toes too. They have to answer this. You get the feedback from it. They don't get a grade on it until you grade it. But you can do uh, short answer questions here. Uh, you can have them recap what's in the video. I like doing that a lot just because it in their own words is always the best way. Um, and when you're finished, we're going to go ahead and press uh, continue. And then we're going to press done. So now my video is finished. Let me pause the video. I'm going to say done. I'm going to, you can add tags if you want. So this one was about standard form. And we'll just add that tag. You can add tags. These are easier for people to search for them if you have a fellow colleague that you want to uh, have in on the discussion as well. I'm going to save this and I'm going to assign it. You can assign it to any class that you want. You can assign it to all of them or just one of them. I'm going to assign it to our test class one. I'm going to prevent skipping so they have to watch the video. I'm going to give them a due date of say tomorrow. I'm going to save the assignment. Now if I come underneath my class, now you may have to refresh. Okay. Now this is me as a student. Boom. There is my video. I can start the video. This is me as a student watching it. Um, it starts. I cannot skip it. See how it locks? But it comes up with the question right away. So it'll stop the video. Orange. Submit. Boom. Correct answer. Continue. And again, you can't skip the video. If I try and uh, minimize the tab, it automatically stops. You can't hear the video anymore. But the moment that you open it back up, it works. So that is how you record videos, edit them, um, and uh, submit them to your classes.